I'm doing another video on this scumbag Andy Sheets. He likes to run around in Nazi uniforms and uh, his point is to say that the police are all Nazis but he does it at the elementary schools and he likes to use the C word and say fuck the police and all cops suck and they should die and all this shit. You get to see him and his friends all dressed up in their Nazi uniforms on the news down there. And the cops can't seem to arrest this guy for anything. So a bunch of parents have decided to take matters into their own hands. Nobody knows why he's wearing that uniform. They just think he's what running around like a Nazi. Thing, right? Say hi, Andy. I'm recording you. Right, you thing, right? I got you. Yes, they are. You know what's really criminal? What's that? Those knee-high socks. I know, but that's what the brown shirts wore. <laughs> Parents calling us in outrage over what's happening outside their children's elementary school. They tell us a man with swastika flags was outside that school shouting at parents who were dropping their kids off. Week News reporter Erica Jackson joins us live near Sally Jones Elementary in Punta Gorda. So Erica, what do these parents want to see happen? Amanda, they want the man to simply stay away from their kids. The students here, they're in elementary school, some as young as five years old. Parents filed a report with police, but they tell me they're ready to do more if they see the man and those flags out here again. Imagine seeing this clown outside of your elementary school yelling obscenities at your parents, at you. I mean, he'll scream at little kids. He doesn't care. Disgusting. That's how parents describe a man spotted outside their kid's school flying a Nazi flag. He was emphasizing towards the police, um, but he had two flags and uh, a Nazi sign. And when the officer came up, he was emphasizing, showing the sign, especially the Nazi one living. And we saw him again this morning, uh, wildly screaming profanities at us, our children, as we simply dropped our children off at school. Adam Ackerman saw the man twice on the sidewalk near Sally Jones Elementary. And I think it's inappropriate and I want to put an end to it. Inappropriate? Maybe. But illegal? Not quite. A city ordinance prohibits signs with obscene language or symbols that can be viewed from public property. But Punta Gorda police told me simply, the man did not break the law, so there's nothing they can do. So screaming obscenities and flying a Nazi flag in front of five-year-olds, there's nothing they can do. Bullshit. Ackerman filed a police report anyway said he's ready to take matters into his own hands. I just kind of want to rally the parents and let's put an end to it in some way, shape or form. It was my first time seeing him this morning. And I was like, you know, why? Many parents have the same question. So far, there's no good answer. This is our children and this is our school. And I think that the people that can get it done is the people right here. And Punta Gorda police told me that officers are aware of the man on the sidewalk. They also say the department is uh, the priority for the department is the safety of students, staff and parents as well. Now, I also reached out to Charlotte County Public Schools to, to comment and the district declined. I'm live in Punta Gorda. Erica Jackson, Wink News. If my uh, old Tahoe with 250,000 miles on it would make it down to Punta Gunta, Florida, I think I'd go join these guys. I would love it. No bad words, Nazi. You're a Nazi. Your kid's a Nazi too, by the way. That's the voice of Andrew Sheets. He's a total asshole. <laughs> cops are acting like Nazis. You can call the cops if you can call the cops if you want. It's free speech. I'm on a sidewalk. I'm on a sidewalk. The cops are acting like Nazis. Teaching kids history, man. What are you thinking? We're gonna repeat history if we don't stop this uh, out of control police state. Do they? Do you even teach freedom of speech here? Yes, I'm teaching parents too. Thank you. 
I've got a feeling if Andrew keeps going, he's going to end up in a body bag, and it's not going to be that far from now. That's just speculation, but uh, it's not looking good for this idiot. Either that or in prison with his best friend, Andrew uh, Eric Brandt. Cops are acting like Nazis! Unfortunately, Andrew's not monetized on uh, YouTube. That's why they're playing the music, because you can't play copyrighted music on YouTube on your videos. Uh, they tried, though. Fuck it! Cops are acting like Nazis! Cops are acting like Nazis! Wow. Cops are acting like Nazis! You're acting like a Nazi! You're acting like a Nazi! You're acting like a Nazi! Well, there you have it. Andrew's been doing this for years. He's getting worse as time goes on. His buddy, uh, Eric Brandt there, he thought he was a badass, too, doing anything he wanted. He's now doing uh, 12 years federal time in uh, federal prison. Uh, I don't know if Andy knows it or not, but federal prison doesn't have parole. So if you get 12 years, you do 12 years. Or pretty damn close to it. Anyway, you gotta remember, he's at a, a grammar school. With kids from 5 years old to, I don't know, 10 or 11, 12, something like that. This is where he decides that he's gonna protest for people's free speech rights. It's fucking ridiculous. Excuse my language. Anyway, this guy pisses me off. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later. Bye.